Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a safety training video in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Are you looking for a way to engage your employees in safety training? With Doodly, you can create custom safety training videos that are both engaging and informative. Best of all, you can do it yourself. The first step is to write a script. So today we are going to do a little training video about desktop ergonomics. Now this script that I have here is about a minute long. So today I am not going to create the entire video, but I will show you the basics so that you can get some ideas to work on for your own video. Then of course you need some graphics for your video and then some audio. So for example, this little opening scene I have here, I've got a doodly character. I'm using rainbow right now, which you may or may not have. And then this also, this little cone is a doodly cone. But this for my title is not. I got this on a royalty free site and I'm using freepick.com. You can use Pixabay or Pexels or one of those others. And I just typed in safety. And then I found all kinds of little options that I can use. And I thought the one that I found would work great. Now I do have the premium account, so attribution is not required. If you use the free account, then yes, you have to say, hey, these graphics are by freepick.com. You just have to put a little line somewhere in your video or the video description or what have you. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to get rid of this guy. My video script says I'm Pamela, so I need a female. So let's go over to characters and let's type in computer. And here's a person that could represent Pamela. Let's just go ahead and drag her over. In this case, I'm going to replace this guy and she's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to go over here and flip and now she's facing the way I'd like her. And then this little cone we don't need. So I'm going to delete that. And then for the title, I'm just going to double click and change this. That'll be fine. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, you might be wondering, well, how do I get this image from FreePick or wherever into Doodly? So you go to the props tab here and you click the blue plus sign and then you just simply browse for the file that you downloaded. So it's very easy. You give it a title and that's that. So let's take a quick preview. And already I am not loving it. Okay, I mean, I like the layout, it's fine, but I don't like the scribbles and the erasing and whatnot. Go over here to video settings and erase mode. That's going to take off that erasing part. I'm going to turn that off because my preference, I don't care for it. While I'm here, I could change the hand and I think I would like a female hand. And that part's done. Now, what about this scribbling stuff? Well, by default, when you import an image into Doodly, the hand will scribble it on. Well, you can change that. You can click this little pencil icon and you can either do drawing paths where you tell it, okay, draw this first, then this, then that, or you can do where it fades on. And that's what I'm gonna do. I like this effect. So I'm gonna hit save and return. And then we're gonna look at our timing. Do I really wanna spend seven and a half seconds getting this all drawn on? No, I do not. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this like a one second fade I'm going to have this one drawn for like maybe two seconds and then this is probably fine. So now let's look. So hi, I'm Pamela. I want to be healthy and safe when I'm at my computer. Okay, so that's that's fine. I'm speaking for longer than this five seconds though. So what do I do before this swipes away? Well, you go to scene settings and you give it some extra time at the end. So for now, I'm going to say three seconds. And then we could do the voiceover right now and say that first line and 
figure out the timing, which that's easy enough to do. You can go down here on the little voiceover track, click the button, grab your script, and then when you're ready, begin speaking. Hi, I'm Pamela. I work at a computer all day and I want to stay healthy so I can keep working for many years to come. And then I just stopped it because I can do this one scene after another. I can just string them along. Boom, 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 boom. So let's go ahead and tighten this part. So I didn't speak right away. And then I'm just going to move that down. And now our timing is just right. I can tell just by looking at it. I'm going to show you one other way that you can deal with your voiceover. So we want to go to sounds. And earlier I recorded this entire voiceover, the whole minutes worth, and I want to bring that in. So here's how you do it. You hit, you go to sounds and then this little plus sign, and then you search for your voiceover. Here's mine and in it goes. Okay. And then you just go boom. It's going to upload. And then when you're ready, you just drag and drop it into your scene. So I'll put it here for the moment. So this is my long voiceover. Then I could delete this one and then you know, move that over. Now, should you do your voiceover before or after you create the graphics? Generally speaking, I like to do it before. I find it's easier to get the timing to the voice than the other way around, but it's fine either way. It's try it both ways. Find out what you like to do better. Okay, so let's move on. So our next scene is going to be, um, we're going to have some tips on how to set up your desk and chair to reduce strain on your body. So I have this graphic that I found again on FreePick and let me show it to you. And there's a whole bunch and you probably, you may find exactly what you want right here. And this is what I found. I like this before and after one. Now I, it's one image with the two guys and then there's these lines and I do want to have the hand draw on the lines. So I had to do a little bit of photo editing. What I did is I erased the pre-drawn lines that you can see over here, these little um, orange and green lines. I erased them and then I created my own ones, which you'll see here and exported them individually. So I turned off this layer and then individually exported each of these lines one at a time. Now this is a more advanced technique because you need the graphics software and you need to know how to use it. So I'm not going to go into detail on this, but I do want to show you how this effect can be created. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let's right click on the scene down here and hit insert. And now I have a blank scene in front of my little cheat sheet. So let's go to props and I'm going to import all those little things I created. I'm just going to drag them all in and you'll see these are all individual items. Okay. I sliced and diced it. Here's my, my original. So I really don't need the original because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first guy in here and my second guy in here. Basically recreate that original. Okay, so I now have the basics of this scene in place. So let's do some work here. Again, with all these three seconds, I don't want any of these to be nearly that long. So let's start with our men. Click the little pencil icon. I'm going to do fade, save and return. And again, I'm going to do a one second fade. Same with this guy. And then for each of these, I'm going to select them all. They're going to be like one second each. Okay. So let's do this. This man too, he needs to be one second. So I control clicked to select them all. Now I right clicked hit settings and then over here you can just change the duration all at once for all of them at the same time okay so those are two different ways you can do that so now my scene is much much shorter and that should be just fine now what about each of these little lines how are we gonna are we gonna fade those as well no the whole reason that i split 
everything up here is because I wanted the hand to draw them. That's why I went through all the bother of going into my software and doing this, okay? You don't have to do this by any, any means. This, I'm just showing you this in case you want to try it. So again, you click the edit icon. Now this time, I'm instead of having a fade, I'm gonna do the draw paths and I'm gonna tell it where to start. So I'm gonna click my mouse here and I'm just gonna follow along. Now you see the little red line, it's very skinny. It needs to be fat enough to cover these. So I take that little path size and do that. Do that for each of them. And again, make the, fat, the path size wide enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to go to this little mini show preview window and I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of the scene. So this is going to end here. And here come my guys. And then here comes the hands. So it's showing right versus wrong versus right. Okay. Now again, you'll need to add your voiceover like I did earlier and adjust the timing to match, okay? If we wanted, we could make like an X for this one and then a check mark for this one. I do have a slash. I imported this earlier, probably from FreePick. So we could do something like that. Yes, this is built into Doodly, it's called a tick. So let's do that. No add, we don't want to replace this time, we just want to add it, okay? And then again, you can adjust how long you want the drawing to take. And I think that looks good. Now, finally, I'm going to add music and then we will be done, okay? So let's go ahead and get rid of this. I right click and hit delete. And we're just gonna pretend that I created the entire one minute video, okay? So now we're at the very end and we wanna add some music. So go over here once again to sounds, click categories, music, and Doodly has all this royalty free music already inside of its library. So you can use any of these songs and add them to your video. I'm going to choose fresh start and I'm going to drag it down into place. Now what I have found is the music is very loud compared to the voiceover. It's at full strength. So to change that, click the little speaker icon and just drag all this down and I like to go down to like 12% okay I know that's extreme but that brings the audio levels down so you can still hear it but then also hear your voiceover very well now let's assume that our video is not two minutes long so we need to go to the end and drag this to shorten it and then let's right click to fade it out. And then I like to stretch this little triangle for a slower fade. Chances are your final scene has like some information, you know, like, hey, call me for more safety tips or whatever. So let's go ahead and at the end of this scene, let's add some time. So you'll do this at your very final scene with your contact information and all that other stuff. So actually I now need to make my music match that duration. Okay, and that's the basics of what you need to do to start creating your own safety training videos. Let's take a quick preview at these two scenes and then we'll be done. Hi, I'm Pamela. I work at a computer all day and I wanna stay healthy so I can keep working for many years to come. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.